Hey guys, Luke Jackson here with Iron Trail Trapline. Today I'm going to show you how to put in a blind set for a mink. So when we're looking to put a mink set in, we're going to try and find any place where the bank kind of juts out so they're forced around there. Now, you probably won't be able to see with the camera, but there are mink tracks here. And this is our straight 90 degree angle here where we can put our blind set. So right here is a Bridger 150 Conibear. This is a very simple set and effective. And we're just gonna put it, have the trigger like a T, and we're gonna just put it right in here. I'm just using a rebar stake. I'm gonna push it tight, then use, use the rebar stake as our stabilizer. Okay, so that's all there is to it. That's nice and snug. Um, you can kind of blend it in with the grass. And maybe shove some stuff through the uh, spring eyes and kind of force them to go through that trap. So the mink's just gonna be working here. They're gonna come out, jog out, and into the conibear. So very simple mink set. Um, no baits needed. Anytime you can do a blind set, that's the way to do it. So just a great location. Right here is just a great blind set. You can see there's just nothing but tracks coming through here. Um, there's main tracks over there, and it's just loaded with coon tracks. So what I did here is I just, this was dirt here, and I just dug it away, and I bedded a one and a half coil spring right here. And uh, if, you know, there's such a good barrier here with the rock there that the animals are forced to go around it, but maybe if there wasn't a barrier, I just smear some lure or bait there and kind of do a smear set, but in this location it is just not needed at all. And then since we do have, you know, this is a great river for mink, um, I did add a little body grip right here. I put a 150 Bridger in. Get some of the stuff out of the way. And I put a little 150 Bridger in here. I don't know if my cool little stick's gonna stay, but it looked cool at first. Sometimes a person can waste a lot of time just tinkering. But So I put a 150 here, this, this boulder forces the mink around and they're gonna hug tight. And I just took a rock from right over there, put it here, and it's holding it in place with the T-bar. So rivers like this, um, if you're setting a location like this and you're road trapping, it's always smart to gang set. So a lot of times, like this place, you could load up just because there's enough sign to justify it. But if it's a smaller location, I'll do a pocket or a blind set or something like that on each side of each side of the road. So each side of the river on each side of the road. So each location is really easy. If I'm doing pocket sets, I can pull up and I know I have four pockets. So yeah, we also have one more pocket down the river. Um, it's kind of hard. There's a lot of rocks, so it's hard to hard to uh, stake them, but should have some here. 